Hey YouTube, this is Daredevil2142 with another, well, I haven't really done any reviews for G.I. Joe. Well, this is a review for G.I. Joe, the Rise of Cobra, Elite Viper, Elite Regiment Officer. I really like this figure, it's probably my favorite Cobra figure out of all of them. Um, yeah, and it's also very rare, I think, because out of four stores, two Walmart, on Toys R Us, and Target, I only found one at, uh, Target, and, um... I picked it up right away because I didn't see the other one, and it looks freaking awesome. Yeah, um, yeah, nice box, I guess. It's pretty cool. That's a nice picture of um, the Elite Viper with the MP5 looking submachine gun. Uh, Elite Viper, Elite Regiment Officer title for the action figure, and there it comes with the Cobra symbol. It's pretty cool. Yeah. On the box, the back of the box, it has an info panel for the Elite Viper. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, let me just read it. Elite Vipers are the personal guards for Destro and strict enforcers of their commander's orders. These top notch mercenaries have extensive military training and are skilled in the use of the advanced weaponry developed by Mars Industries. Preferred weapon Mars Industries D. 57B Extreme Environment Electromagnetic Rifle. It's just shorter than that, really. It's really getting annoying. Um, sorry. The collect other figures. There's the, all the other. There, 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 there. There's all the other figures, and this one doesn't show up on it. That's why I think it's also rare. That's why I picked it up. And it's also on sale, but I would still pick it up either way. Yeah. And I wanted the figure. Um, it's a pretty cool figure. It has. Um, a lot of accessories. So, I'll move the camera forward. Um, it comes with this blaster pistol, which all of them come with, I guess. He also comes with this um, kind of blunt, bludgeon-like axe, maybe to cut off GI Joe head. <clears throat> um, he comes with two MP5-looking submachine guns with nice detail on them. It's kind of harder to find in the in um, figures. You, I think you could get only one of them, I don't know, one or two, in um, the Mars Industries or um, Mars Troopers. Um, those are like the first set that came out for the movie. Um, he also comes with this backpack and uh, oversized rocket launching, projectile launching, rocket launcher. And I'll demonstrate it. Yep. Alright. And he also comes with a stand. It's pretty cool. Lee Viper. Nothing new about the stand. Um. On to the figure itself. It's a really cool figure. I really like the detail that they put into it. Like the weathered look. And, um. Yeah. And another thing they have on it that the Neo Viper didn't have, which I was pretty upset about, is, um. Utility belt or belt. Um. This one has a bunch of stuff molded into it. Like a walkie-talkie, ammo, pouch, ammo, clip, uh, spare ammo pouches for clips, I guess, for their guns. And, um, also this, um, really cool, um, add-on, a part of the belt is this, um, holster for his blaster pistol that fits perfectly inside. And it's a real improvement from, like, the Storm Shadow one, um, that still had the whole gun jutting out of it. Half of the gun, like, the holster, but this one goes right in. Really cool, um... Let me go over articulation. This is a ball jointed neck. You can turn all the way around. Um, ball jointed, um, ball hinged or ball jointed um, shoulders. Ball jointed, um, what's it called? Um, elbows, sorry, and swivel wrist. Uh, he has fully articulated legs like all the G.I. Joe figures from 25th anniversary onwards with double jointed knees and stuff and uh, ball hinged ankles. He also has a, uh, um, ball hinged uh torso that chest torso I think it's a torso you can call it that moves all around but it's hard to move in and out with the vest on and it's hard to take off the vest because it only has one tab on this side you could which you could remove right there but none on this side so yeah um yeah the paint app is really cool um nice weather weathered look like I said before I guess and, but there's one thing about the helmet which they could have improved. It's so much, there's so much detail in the light, if you can see, on the helmet, which 
which they would have been much better if they had um, kept the visor, the gloss black, a uh, glossy black, and put the um, the helmet as a flat back, flat black, so you can see there's all the detail. Well, other than that, it's a pretty good figure. Um, I'd give this figure uh, a nine out of ten. Plus, I also a big plus about it is um the backpack, which I really like, is that I didn't know for the last um, the ten minutes of opening, I was wondering why the hell would they have um, an axe which you can't hold put in. But then I found out. I looked at the um, backpack and I felt like an idiot because I figured out you can put it on, and then you can nicely put on um, the backpack onto his back, which is pretty cool. The all the weapons fit in his hand perfectly. The axe is best put in his um, right hand. And it's a very um, solid, um, good figure, I guess. And I'd give this a solid 9 out of 10, because it's a really kick-ass figure. And that's my review of the G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra Elite Viper. Please rate, comment, and subscribe to my videos. Um, I'll be doing many more in the future. Um, and I'd also give a shout-out to, um, what's his face, Star Wars Fan 77, who's been who really wanted to see this. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. You might already watch other people's reviews on this figure, but what the hell, I just did it for you. Alright, see ya.